I would like for you to reflect on a time that you made a decision just because it was the easy way out and you didn't want to deal with an internal or physical conflict. For example, maybe you push back doing work or doing the dishes simply because it's easier this way. That may be your opinion, but there is clearly a morally correct solution. Anyone can form an idea or an opinion, but there's one skill that is constantly forgotten. That one skill is justification. Schooling often lacks reason and a format that is contributed to by students, parents, and faculty to gain all points of view. Most schools encourage extracurricular activities, whether it be a sport, club, or team. Most schools encourage spending extra time with the teacher when you need help. And most schools encourage having a wonderful time with your family on the weekend. The point is, most schools encourage many activities or solutions that are meant to keep students happy and responsible. The air within this goal is that there is no realistic time for all of this. Priorities can be made by a student, but generally a student will choose an A or B in all of their classes and loses interest in topics that could last a lifetime rather than a couple of days. According to LiveScience.com, about 30% of students say that they are bored in class because of the small interaction made between themselves and the teacher, while about 70% say that they are bored because the material being taught is not of interest to them. In response to this, a school might say, well, these skills are mandatory for one's future life and the jobs one may hold in each topic. But according to Ridgewater College, one tends to work in a field that serves of interest to them and about 20 to 50% of students enter college undecided. If 20 to 50% of students enter college undecided, then isn't there a possibility that nothing in particular was of interest to them throughout school or what they were interested in was not taught? School gives students a platform to reach goals, learn responsibility, and ultimately challenge oneself. Unfortunately, there is so much more to life that people constantly struggle with, such as mental health, finance, nutrition, and so much more. I question why we can't learn more about the current problems in today's society as we are constantly seeing communities struggle to keep up. I want to be an influence in the world and not just a continuation to past generations. My experience in learning about X and Y or analyzing a book has not been easy. This type of work does challenge me, but it might not allow for me to rise with or change the world. These skills do not always secure life past school, whether society wants that or not. And we might as well help students who choose to pursue a career unrelated to standard topics or even students who need to support their family. Although a major and minor in any core subject is most students' goal, there needs to be an alternative for two reasons. The first reason being that college isn't always an option. And the second being that interests are changing and being able to secure base standards, such as what was mentioned earlier, like health, finance, nutrition, and more, are topics that still need to be mastered today. For example, according to worldvision.org, about 9.2% of the world survives on $1.90 a day. And although this is much lower than the 36% in 1990, why is this being ignored in school when students are the future who have the ability to affect this 9.2%? The education system always wants students to reach for 100%, so how come the education system isn't taking that extra step? The data being represented that is so easy to find on the internet is not just there to sit and look at. It is there to help and to create change. And whether it is too difficult to make a change or too scary to make a change, what is that showing to students who constantly encounter difficult in and out of school situations? School is meant to be the stepping stones to eventually form a striving future. But how can that be possible if there is no new information or topics to fix our errors? You may have heard this in school, but generally there's a universal truth and all ideas should lead back to it. From my perspective, that truth is not being re represented today. If you think of one paragraph as what it's morally taught and another paragraph as the education system's formatting, they do not lead back to the same universal truth. What is morally taught is not performed by the education system and that is no way towards improvement. Although I have a perspective towards a specific change and would like to share it, I want to clarify that at this point, any change is ideal over the change itself to prove that we are trying, which is one of the most common teachings for all ages. On to the specific change is that students need to be able to have more control over their classes and overall have a choice in what they are learning. If students enjoyed what they learned and how they learned it, there could be a drastic and positive change in mental health and global issues. In addition, many students have at least one class that they would like to cut out of their schedule, and having the opportunity to experiment with subtopics like health, accounting, psychology, teaching, and more, 
without losing a class such as art, choir, and band is what would keep a student engaged. And in the end, that is what is needed. Although this time from unnecessary classes should not go directly to free time, it should go to a beneficial cause that reflects our ideal future. If everyone is different and unique, then why can't that be expressed earlier through what we are interested in? There are so many whys that simply don't have justification to it, which is why I want to come back to the root of the issue, which is that justification needs to be extended from school to reality in a way that our teachings stay consistent. This does not mean that they cannot change, but they should be reflected upon all ages and all ideas. Please, in any situation, remember these two goals. Have justification for your actions because it reflects your understanding of your own decisions, which have the ability to affect others. And the second goal should be to embrace change because the world around us is constantly changing. The environment is changing, the economy is changing, and your own family could be changing. So isn't it time to question why the education system has not made many changes? Thank you.